Hello everybody. I'm sorry I'm doing a really bad job at being really regular about this. But um yeah, so a lot of changes. Spring is happening, so it's good to see some sun out. Hopefully there will be a couple more festivals that I can go to with friends and family. But um, let's just get into this one real quick because it's going to be an at-home one. And I would like to, first of all, thank my cousin. Well, he's technically my cousin's husband, but whatever. He loves beer just as much as I do. And he bought me this as a little gift, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Kike. But um, this is from the Icicle Brewing Company. They are based out of Leavenworth, Washington. So just about, what, an hour maybe an hour drive away from where I'm at right now, but um, yeah, it says that it is a German chocolate cake ale. We'll see if it comes out um, as much as we hope it to be, but um, he really likes it, and um, yeah, so, let's see what, I don't even know if it's going to be super, it is, it's dark, nice. So, so, um, okay, the smell. God, I've been so out of practice with this. Okay, so far it just smells like a stout. Like you can get those, um, almost chocolate notes. So that's a good thing. So smell, I do enjoy the smell, so we're going to give it a 3 out of 5. Color? Obviously, you know me. It's dark. Um, you can see a little bit through it. It's kind of like a Coke. Like a Coca-Cola color. It's almost caramel, but um, darker, obviously, because um, not a lot of light is going through that. So, I'm going to give that a 3 as well. Super good. Head, it's kind of flat. Um, so, not really feeling that aspect of it, because I do like a creamy, you know, top on my beer, but, um, yeah, so we'll just give that a two, just because I actually wouldn't expect that from this anyways. Alright, and let's taste it. Let's taste it. Wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> After the coconut one, I kind of, like, I feel like I expect too much, like my relationships. So I'm constantly disappointed. But, um, yeah, this is actually, I actually like this. Um, it doesn't, I don't know, I haven't had a piece of German chocolate cake in a really long time, though. But you can definitely taste the coconut. You can taste the coconut, actually, in this one more than you can in that one coconut one that I did, um, a few weeks back. Actually, it's probably been about a month. So, um, I like that because I love coconut. It's one of my favorite, um, is that a fruit or a nut? I'm assuming coconut's a fruit. But, <laughs> but, um, I love coconut. Coconut flavor, anything. <clears throat> coconut milk, coconut water, whatever. But, um, yeah, it's really good. You can, I feel like it kind of does have an essence of German chocolate cake, which is great. Um, so it actually lives up to its name. So it's got a good chocolate, it's like a dark chocolate, maybe that's why, because it's a bit bitter. It is, but I like dark chocolate. Oh, it's really good. It's really good, and it's really light, too, so it's a good summer ale. So even though it's dark, you can probably sit out in the sun right now, you know, bikini and all, speedo, whatever you're into, and um, it'd be refreshing. So... Flavor-wise, oh, just pulled off my razor. <clears throat> um, I'm going to give it a four. You know, it's not amazing, but I am really impressed by it. I am really impressed. Um, so I guess that's kind of a life lesson for everybody. You know, lower your expectations, and you'll probably end up being happier than you thought you would. So, um, But yeah, this was really good. I do enjoy this. So, thank you, cuz. It's really good. I appreciate it. So, three in. The finish isn't amazing, but it's still smooth. 
I don't know. I feel like it's getting more bitter, which is probably the chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, I just have my cat staring at me. I think I should um, show you guys how evil of a stare she can give. <laughs> Do you want outside? <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, the finish, it's... um. The more you get into it, the the less coconut um, you can taste and the more bitterness you can taste. So I think that's definitely the dark chocolate that's probably in there, those notes of dark chocolate. So um, finish wise, I'm just going to give it a 2 because it's not amazing and I feel like it's just kind of basic. So, uh, but again, it's I'm really impressed with this. Let's see, what's the alcohol? So it's a 6.5. So I will not be driving anywhere for a couple hours. Probably should eat some more. But um, let's do the score here. So 3, 6, 8, 12, 13, 14, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, what are we looking at? So a total of 14. Divided by five, that's three. So yeah, essentially a three. I mean, I'm rounding up here because Kiri doesn't do decimals. But yeah, so, <clears throat> ooh, the sun. Okay, so again, um, this you can get in the stores, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, you're basically looking at a really, like I feel like it's a really good, like you'd be impressed. Like whatever he paid for this is probably like four bucks or whatever. It's about average when you go to a store. Sometimes they're like three, but you know. Um, but yeah, so I feel like you're getting really good money's worth. Like it's a really good, decent um, beverage, especially considering that it's kind of gone a bit mainstream, you know, going to a grocery store. But um, yeah, I actually can't wait to see if I can try some on tap because maybe it'll taste even better out of um, a tap. But yeah, so um, again, sorry for... Um, kind of slacking a bit. There's a lot of life changes going on and again with spring happening and all that kind of junk. But I hope you guys stay tuned because we will be going back to the Four Horsemen because they are debuting their spring ale. It's some type of, um, I don't know, it's got blackberry in it. And so I am like super stoked because I love like raspberries, blackberries. I just like berries. They're good. So I'm really stoked to see that, and we're going to be going to their Cinco de Mayo Cornhole Tournament. My dad and I have signed up. It's actually a legit tournament. Um, and if you win the tournament, you actually go on to the next level, like, nationwide-like. So it's kind of insane. Um, but um, I'm mostly excited, obviously, about trying um, the Blackberry... I don't know... I know they told me what it was, but... It's it's basically something that they only make for spring, and so I hear that they sell out of it pretty quick. And obviously we'll be getting into a couple more of that. The Pestilence? Yes. I always forget the name. I'm just like, you know, that really great beer that they have. But yeah, so um, stay tuned next week because um, we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo, and Dad and I are probably going to get wasted playing Cornhole. If you don't know what Cornhole is... Google it, because it's actually pretty fun. It's kind of redneck-like, but um, it's a good game. Yeah, but um, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your first couple of weeks of spring. And um, yeah, be safe. Alright, see you at Cinco de Mayo.